um so welcome back to this channel once again so here i am with one more uh, interesting topic on the file so here i'm going to delete single or multiple records uh from the physical file using the sub file so what i'm gonna doing is just selecting the single or multiple records from the sub file uh, using the record selection method by uh, taking an option for example say x on those uh, sub file records and then i'm deleting those records from the sub file uh, pf or the sub file you can say so let's see uh, what i have created so you can see this is the sub file uh, having uh, multiple records loaded so here uh, you can take option x to select or just what i do is take option x to delete okay take option x to delete so either you can take option x one time on a single record or on a multiple record so if you take option other than x they won't delete any record from the sub file so only option x will delete the record from the sub file you can either take one option at a time or multiple uh, selection at a time you can do or you can delete single record from the pf or the multiple record from the pf at once so what i'll doing is for example i'm selecting ccc on all the records for example d or anything what do you want pressing enter won't do anything it just removed whatever i pressed now if i just take x on these three records for example and fifth one okay or for example these three records i just want to delete so if i press enter i can see all those three records are deleted and i can see the message recorded okay now for example i just want to delete only one record i would select x and i would be able to delete the records so if i take option c i won't see any record deleted and the message has been gone because there is no record deleted now okay now i am just taking option x on all the records and pressing enter and i'm just gonna deleting i'm selecting all the records from sub file okay and pressing enter it was so i can see all the records are deleted now there is no record no further record on the sub file i pressed enter i can see there is no further record on the sub file now my sub file is loaded with empty records or you can say displayed with empty records okay so if i call it again i can see there are no records at all so here i am able to delete multiple records or single record from my sub file so how do i achieve that let's discuss that uh, so first thing is uh, i just created a pf so i need a pf uh, uh, which i'll be loading into my sub file and through which from which also i am able to delete the records so this pf is containing three fields employee number name and status where employee number is the key field so i am basically deleting the record based on the employee number okay now just uh, come to the display file so here we have one sub file format sfl so i took ca03 with indicator 03 for uh, f3 key so in case if i press f3 indicator 03 gets on um, here sub file format is uh, as you can see so here i am displaying the number employee number name and status and the option which is where i am going to select x take option x to delete so this is the control format here i am i just only took the required or the mandatory keyword i didn't took any optional keyword for the sub file control format so this is a load all sub file so this is the 
messages on the subfile control form take option exit delete or delete the curves on the file heading this is the footer so in footer you can see i just given the message recording it so i just attach the indicator 50 so when this indicator gets on i will be able to see the records this message okay so in case any record deleted from the file then only i'll be uh, setting this indicator to on else this will be off so now come to the program here i took a student file but uh, this time i took this file in update add mode so that i would be able to delete and uh, read the file read the uh, records or read the records from the file this is the pgm 16 dspf which is in combined mode and i define the subfile format here uh, using s file and associated the rn rn1 now the first thing would be to load the subfile so i'll be loading the subfile in the initialization subroutine so since um, i just have to load it once here only. so i'm just loading it uh, here only so i can uh, when do I can load it here also before this footer and then loading this up file so just uh, when I'm loading this up file I am reading this student file and just uh, loading those records into the file format so uh, moving the file fields to this up file uh, format fields and incrementing the RN one by one and writing the up file format so here you can see I am setting this indicator 98 to on once this subfile size value reaches means we have uh, loaded 999 records max 9999 records so in case a file have more than that records I would be able to only load 9999 records since this is the load all subfile so here I am setting the indicator 10 SFL display keyword uh, activating that keyword to on or you can say setting this indicator to on or activating that uh, keyword SFL display so that I would be able to display the file because now I have at least loaded one record in the file. Okay, so I'm reading this file in loop and loading all the records from the student file um, till the subfile size value. So either one thing happens, either the end of file reached before the subfile uh, size value reaches or the file size value reach before the end of file reach so both the conditions are handled here indicator 98 to on or the end of not percent end of file not percentile end of file so after that i would be just displaying the foot writing the foot uh, execute formatting thing formatting the file control format and then once user can just take after that f3 when the file is displayed or he can just simply press enter so whenever he pressing enter uh, he can take option x or any other option or he didn't take any option so that in that case uh, what i'm doing i'm reading this of file uh, i'm reading the change record in this of file uh, till not percent and of file uh, of this of file so here i'm checking if option is only x then only i'm going to delete so i'm changing with that employee number i would be able to get that employee number on that um, uh, selected recalled then I am if uh, checking if record is found in file student I will be deleting that uh, record and setting the indicator 52 on means record deleted message and if and if so I'll be doing it for all the records so since I'm reading this in the loop so in case I have selected uh, for five records I have selected X for five records I will be able to read five records on the file and then I am just after those deletions, I am just clearing this sub file. So indicator 20 is associated with the SFL clear uh, uh, sub file keyword. So which is basically for clearing this sub file. So I am setting this indicator on and then clearing this sub file by writing the sub file control format. After that, I would need to uh, set this off so that uh, I would be able to load that file again. So in case I would not be setting this to off. But I'll be what will be happening I will uh, the all, sub file will always be clear, clear and we won't be able to see any loaded records so then after we will be loading the uh, sub file again okay so once the sub file uh, is loaded again then we are writing the footer uh, execute formatting sub file control format 
or execute formatting the execute pro execute subroutine the this uh, process keyboard again okay so what i can do i can just remove this step so i'm not using uh, so what i can do i just remove the i can remove this begin sr initialization subroutine or end sr so that uh, i don't have to call this subroutine again here so that will be called only once uh, that is before this footer so that is not required here at this instance or at the last instance so only once that is required so you can do uh, at your end uh, currently i'm showing you the demo so just uh, call this program so i can see there is no records at all so first thing i'll be doing i'll be copying the records into this student file i'm calling i can see uh, there are multiple records loaded so if i delete the for example if i deleting the records from the last page okay so we can see that the records are deleted from the last page and i cannot see but you can see that i would be able i was navigated back to the first screen so i can handle that you can just use the file information data structure uh, and the sub file record number keyword in your sub file and you can handle that you can be once you delete the calls you would be on your on that page only so that you won't be navigating back to the first page so you can see my other videos uh, uh, in my youtube channel there i explained how you can handle that sub file uh, you can say uh, that pressing enter will not uh, uh, navigate back you to the first page of sub file so that is very easy you just have to declare the uh, you can say file information data structure in the fspecs of that file and then you just need to uh, uh, get the current rn of the page uh, that is the minimum rn of the page for example here on the first page the minimum rn is one and on the second page the minimum rn is one two three four five so five records can be loaded in one page so so the minimum rn on the, the second page will be six so you will be getting six at that time and whenever you are passing that six uh, the current rn to the sub file sfl rn hidden keyword which is associated with the sub file record number you will be on that page only so that's not tough you can watch my other videos and all my videos i just sh uh, showed there that how you can handle that so here for example i'm just uh, selecting multiple records and in between that i'm just taking c here so i would be able to record delete those records and the record with selection c one deleted as you can see this was the record which was not deleted for example i took c again i can see this record is not deleted so x and then c then x c and this and then x so 1 and 16 employee number will be deleted so i can see 1 and 16 are deleted so using this way you can delete uh, multiple records or single record from the sub file and this is you can see the, all the records are not deleted also you can just uh, uh, look into the file also so you can see that the file is also clear so this way uh, you can delete uh, uh, single or multiple record from the sub file uh, or can say from the pf also pf uh, pf or from the sub file uh, so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time